As we feared, the angels are still deliberating. They have yet to choose a side in this conflict, and for now each maintains individual fidelity to Seamus or yourself. That's nothing to fear, Murazel. As long as those loyal to our cause remain at my side, we shall surely win. Angels fighting angels to choose an emperor. I had hoped to convince my brothers and sisters that they should remain neutral and fight for neither side. So many lives have been lost. And what of you, Murazel? Will you stand aside? I am a servant of Elrath, before I'm an angel. And I believe you are his chosen emperor. I will fight beside you until you are on the throne, or we are both in our grave.
Greetings, chosen of Elrath. It's a beautiful day for fishing, don't you think? The only thing I want to see in a river is Seamus' dead body floating by. If you wait long enough, all seasons come to pass. While we wait, the war still rages. I march on Stag, and we'll be very close to Irula. Will I be fighting alongside elves or against them? Neither, Chosen of Elrath. The elves won't be fighting this war. It is not ours. But when you approach the river protecting Castle Horncrest, be sure to take line and pearl. I think you'll be very happy with your catch. Greetings, Duke Ivan. I appreciate you not filling my poor carcass with crossbow bolts. It is not a griffin custom to fire upon a flag of truce. Approach. You will not be harmed. Ivan, I still say we should kill the horse. Ivan knows this is a ruse. No, my friend. It is not every day that the right hand of Seamus comes to parley. Let us hear what he has to say. We may learn something through the lies. Let me cut to the thick of this, Duke Ivan. My Lord Seamus proposes a meeting to come to terms. He offers you the hand of his daughter, Norwen. I have already refused this offer. I will not bow to a... to him. It is not you who will be doing the bowing, Duke Ivan. If you marry his daughter, accepting his blood into your lineage, Duke Seamus shall bow to you. What craziness does Lord Wilhelm speak? Are you saying that Seamus is admitting defeat? The war is over. Come to the ruins of Falcon's Reach. Duke Seamus of Stag shall recognize you as Emperor Ivan of all the armies of Elrath and absolute sovereign of the Holy Empire.
with the enemy. What a wicked world he comes from. Seamus was once a trusted friend of my father, and like an uncle to me. Upon Maeve's death, everything changed. With the determined fire none suspected he possessed, he set ablaze our lands and put the sword to my people. There were those who saw the strength of an emperor in his cruelty and the fear he inspired. They rallied to his banner. I see only pride and the sickness of entitlement. I shall marry his daughter and call him father. And in so doing, the enemy and all he and his wicked world represents shall die. It is time we put an end to all this, cousin. To the victor go the spoils. You get the throne and the most beautiful bride in all the Empire. Duke Ivan has seen many women more beautiful both within and beyond our borders. This marriage is a necessity, a remedy for a dying Empire. I shall play my role as shall he. There is no need to sugar the coating of the medicine. <laughs> Silence, child. If our dear Ivan learns the true nature of your insolent character and the years of bickering he must endure, he might refuse the wedding. I'm making the good bargain here, rid of you for the meager price of an empire. Nolwyn, you have indeed grown into a beautiful woman, and you have the character that suits an empress. Thank you, Duke Ivan. You have become the man I imagined you would become as a boy. Less these recent stories of your treacheries. Ah, Ivan, Ivan. Always the griffin. My daughter seems to like you already. How quick you are to steal my subjects' loyal hearts. Let us get on with this, Duke Seamus. Though I am eager to plan a wedding, I am more pressed to end this war. Take a knee and pledge your fealty. And let the peace begin. I shall bow to you, Ivan as I bury you and throw dirt upon your open grave! This is treachery. The princess has been murdered. Ivan has killed my eldest child. Such were the words of Seamus as he escaped the meeting site, leaving his daughter's blood on my hands. Aspiring, the Emperor would shape the world in the image of his own desires. Dark Elf, you do not want a war with the Holy Empire. This infamy shall not go unpunished. This day you meet your dragon. Melassa is too busy this day to accept my soul. You have much to learn, Emperor. In every defeat, there is a victory. You shall soon understand the wisdom of the Blades of Erebus.
an enemy, always an enemy. Seamus sacrificed his own daughter to cast a shadow on my claim for the Empire. I should have known. Trust is not on trial here. You did what must be done. It was a chance to end all bloodshed. Blood is all we know! Half of Ashan will soon think that I murdered Nolwyn. She lies in my tent, dead to prove it. My closest counselors are an Archangel and a Necromancer, and we can't put the life back into a body that's still warm. Ivan, we cannot find her soul. She has already passed on. It all went so quickly. I cannot even find trace of her ghost. Mirza has tried everything. What does this mean? How did this happen? Jorgen, you are my master of secrets. How could Seamus set such a trap without us having the slightest inkling of his intentions? Seamus's closest allies, including Wilhelm himself, believed Seamus was going to kneel to you. Our spies had no way of knowing what was about to happen, because no one did. Someone knew! Or was I fighting ghosts out there? They certainly look like Dark Elf assassins to me. You think they just happened upon us? You were attacked by the Blades of Erebos. I doubt that Seamus sought them out. The Blades most certainly offered their services to him and him alone. Seamus was given an offer he could not refuse. A man willing to sacrifice his daughter for a throne is not fit to rule. Make preparations. We have an empire to build and one last duchy to conquer. Ivan, I regret your loss. Nolwyn would have made a great bride for you, but... Tannis, this wedding was an affair of reason, not of the heart. A chance to bring peace to the realm. But now, indeed, do I mourn for this poor woman betrayed by her own father. I believe I may have found something to explain why the lady's soul cannot be found. I think the Blades of Erebos stole it. Stolen? Her soul? It has been done. Both the Angels and the Faceless crafted such objects during the Elder Wars. Yes. The Hall of Memories. I remember the stories of the Archangel Michael. But this soul-stealing artifact must be miles below the ground by now. I have two reasons to think it closer. Firstly, until Seamus is crowned Emperor, the Blades of Erebos will stay within crossbow range. The other reason is this massive illusion spell I discovered. 